All right, now that you have made your choices for your apartment and your bank account, it's time to record the information in your cash flow spreadsheet. So you will go to Teams and you will open up your cash flow spreadsheet. and I have mine open already. So I'm gonna pull up my cash flow spreadsheet. So first off, let's ensure we have the correct information. Your starting balance is actually supposed to be $1,634.93. So pause the video if you need and go ahead and fix that. All right, depending on your selection for your apartment, you either have to pay the $727.42 or the 612. So go back and look at the Nearpod and write down the amount that you are gonna pay. So it says that you moved in on the 21st. So you currently have seven days from the 21st to pay the 727.42. And the 727.42 does include the um, security deposit deposit of either 400 or 500 which was a one time selection for that so you're going to go in and seven days from the 21st means it needs to happen before the 28th so i have scheduled mine on the 27th and under the apartment column this is where you put your estimated bills you are going to enter the 727.42 or the 612. Okay, and you can see that it automatically updates and gives me my balance. We have already input our paycheck, so we know when we're going to get paid, and our first goal was to save 500. According to the bill, rent is due on the first of every month. So you have seven days from the first to pay rent. So rent must be paid between the 1st and the 7th. So decide when you're going to pay your rent and mark that in the apartment column. And I selected the $500, but you may have selected the two-bedroom $600 one. So enter it there. And then you will see that after you pay it, this is your remaining balance. Now you're going to go through the rest of the cash flow spreadsheet and find the 1st of December and enter when you're going to pay your rent between the 1st and the 7th. All right. Pause the video if you need to. Now you are going to open up your check register. It is the one that we did before in class. If you do not have that one, you can open Excel, go to File, go to More Templates, and you will be able to search for it. I happen to have it right here, so I'm going to open a new check register. If you do that, you will want to delete the information and do not select it all and delete. Just highlight each column and delete them as you go. Now we need to enter our information in our check register. So your check register is actually your bank account balance. So your cash flow spreadsheet tells you when you're supposed to pay it. So this tells you when you're supposed to pay it and this tells shows that you have actually paid it. So today is the 26th, so enter, or the 27th, so enter today's date. You are gonna put starting balance, and it should reflect what you have in your cash flow spreadsheet. You do not ever mark in this balance column. It will mess up the formulas. If you mess up the formulas, you may have to start over, download a new one and start it over. So this would be a credit of $1634.93. And as soon as I click in another, another column, it updates my information. Now I have rent to pay, and I'm actually going to Venmo my apartment, and I'm going to do it on the 27th, but you need to put whatever date that you chose. And it's Vista View view apartments and it was for October rent and it's a debit mine is going to be the 727 14 I believe